So, there is this plant that is chiefly used as an ornamental plant, especially by gardening enthusiasts. But the thing is that this plant has some really good health benefits. But I don't think that a lot of persons are aware of the latter. So I'm going to be sharing more about this plant, especially as it relates to its benefits and uses. If this sounds like something that really piques your interest, then continue to watch this video because I'm going to be starting right away. Okay guys, you are now looking at some plants that have several scientific names, but the preferred one is Tradescantio spathaceo. In Jamaica and in other parts of the world, they are commonly known as Moses in the basket, but they also have many other common names depending on the regions in which they are found. For example, there is Moses in the cradle. There is also oyster plant, cradle lily, boat lily, and rio plant. These plants are native to Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, and parts of the Caribbean. But they can also be found in Australia, parts of the United States, Africa, Asia, and the Pacific and Canary Islands. Moses in the basket can be described as a succulent plant that has a short stem which has rosettes of sword shaped leaves these leaves are dark to metallic green on the surface and glossy purple underneath and they can grow up to a foot long and up to three inches wide. The plant produces small white flowers that have triangular petals. And these petals are clustered and arranged inside purplish boat shaped bracts. And this is the reason why the plant was given the names Moses in the basket and Moses in the cradle. These flowers open in the mornings and close in the afternoons. The plant is very hardy and it can survive floods 
and droughts. And as you can see, it has a very beautiful foliage. And this is the reason why it is oftentimes used as an ornamental plant and a house plant. And because it is a low growing plant, it is oftentimes used as ground cover as well. So Moses in the basket can grow in full sun to deep shade and it can reproduce by seeds, cuttings or by discarded plants. It can also reproduce via cross pollination or self pollination. In Jamaica, it mostly grows wildly and organically in gardens, backyards, along roadsides, in rocky terrains and in cracks in walls as well. Scientific research on the medicinal values of the plant has been published and it is reported to possess anti-tumor, anti-cancer, anti-mutagenic, anti-viral, anti-microbial, anti-bacterial, anti-tuberculosis, anti-hyperuricemia, analgesic, HEPA, to protective anti fertility and anti inflammatory properties. It is also said to have antioxidants, which can help with wrinkles and age spots as well. In Jamaica, the plant is used in traditional folklore medicine to treat colds. And in other parts of the world, it is also used as treatment for amenorrhea, headaches, sprains, as well as rheumatism. It's also used to treat dysentery, inflammation, colds, sore throat, whooping cough, bleeding stools, as well as nasal bleeding. And there are people in other parts of the world who use the plant to treat coughs, bronchitis, tuberculosis, asthma, fever, snake bites, hypoglycemia, 
venereal diseases, cancer, urinary tract infections, nervios, which is a wide range of symptoms that affect Latinos in the United States and Latin America. These symptoms include things like headaches, dizziness, concentration difficulties, sleep disturbances, stomach upsets, among other things. For the treatment of colds, sore throat, whooping cough, nasal bleeding, amenorrhea, hemoptysis, and many of these health issues, a decoction or an infusion of the leaves or the leaves and flowers are usually made and taken internally. For the treatment of headaches, the leaves are usually warmed and applied locally. To reduce inflammation and swellings, a poultice is usually made from the leaves and applied to the affected area. And to treat wounds, a paste is usually made with the leaves and applied to the affected area area the leaves of the plant contain a sap that can cause a rash itching and reddening of the skin the plant is toxic if eaten in large quantities and will cause severe burning in the mouth and throat and will cause abdominal pain. Medical Disclaimer The information shared on Earth's medicine is for the purpose of enlightenment. It is not to be used as a substitute for pharmaceutical medicine. If you are feeling ill or you have any health concerns, please speak to your doctor about same.